Hello, this is Gloria Braunschweig with Computeration. This demonstration will explain how to export data from QuickBooks and migrate it to Dynamics GP. For this demonstration, we're going to export and import just the master records. We'll start by starting the QuickBooks database. Prior to this migration, you need to open and read through the Rapid Start Services Guide that comes with the tools and understand how to both prepare your QuickBooks data and your Dynamics GP database. We start with QuickBooks Open and then we start the Rapid Start Migration tool. When we run these, we've turned off the UAC, the User Account Control, and we're taking an extra precaution to run this as administrator. We select the drop-down QuickBooks and review this checklist again. And then we'll mark that we've completed the tasks necessary before migrating the data. We go to the next window where we have some additional recommendations. Next again, we're referencing our Dynamics GP 2013 SQL database. We're using SQL Server authentication in this case, and I'll go ahead and log in to that database. On the next window, we select the system database. It's going to default to Dynamics. If you've installed a second instance, your system database may be named something other than Dynamics. I'm going to also drop down and choose the Dynamics company, which I've created. And I have a instance that I've already used once, but I can reuse that to export this data and direct it towards a QuickBooks install. Then I move on to the next screen where I can choose to migrate all data or I can select just master records. I'm going to, for purposes of the demonstration, limit what I migrate here. So I'll deselect all data and I'll migrate just master records. With the next window, you allow the system to grant access to the database. This application certificate will pop open and you can say, yes, always allow access. If you're migrating employee information, you also want to grant access to the social security numbers and credit card information. And we'll go ahead and continue with that. It confirms that. Now you mark that you've granted access to your QuickBooks data and go ahead and export. We see a progress bar. It's doing the extract here. It's finished with the extract. It's creating data tables in a SQL database, and then it's giving us a report of that database. We can view our log file to determine if we have any errors. If we wanted to edit data, we could start Microsoft Excel. We're going to go ahead with this integration the way that it is and just click Next, it's telling us that it has not exported the transaction data. We'll do next again. The QuickBooks data can be divided into as many as two segments, and it's indicating that the QuickBooks data had a segmentation of three and one. And we'll go ahead and migrate that as is. It confirms that information, and we'll go ahead and do next. We do have some sub-accounts, but those will go ahead and migrate over. We won't edit them, and we'll just simply go ahead and import them. Now, once this import finishes, you do have a checklist within the Rapid Start Services PDF on items that you should review and change and modify in configuration and setup. This export, of course, and import depends entirely upon the hardware that you're using and the amount of data that you're migrating. When the migration is finished, you can again review a log file. Let's go ahead and exit our tool and we'll open Dynamics GP. 
With that company database open, we can go ahead and verify our data and go on to edit it like the Rapid Start Tools recommends. But here, for example, is our chart of accounts. This ends the demonstration for the QuickBooks to Dynamics GP 2013 migration using the Rapid Start Tools.